we are going to solve this system right here. And it's nonlinear system, so I'm not going to put it. Um, I'm not going to put it into a matrix to solve it. I'm just going to try and do some combinations. But one of the things that I notice is I have a negative y squared and a and a plus y squared. So I can just add these equations together. Uh, x squared plus x squared is 2x squared, and the y squareds drop out. So that's fantastic. So now then I add 39 to 89, and I get 128. Keep going to solve from here. Divide both sides by 2. x squared equals 64. So x equals, and I know you know that it equals 8, but it also equals negative 8. So think about both those cases. x could be 8 or negative 8. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those, plug them back in, and try and uh, figure out what y could be. And I'll just use that equation. You could use either one. So x squared uh, plus y squared equals 89. 8 squared is 64. Subtract 64 from both sides, and it looks like I get uh, 25. Y squared is 25. So y equals, uh, remember, not just 5, 5 and negative 5, both of those things. So when x is 8, y is those things. So it goes through the, I know it goes through the point 8, 5. It also goes through the point 8, negative 5. So now let me try it for when x is negative 8. I'm going to plug it into the same equation. I could use either equation. Negative 8 squared uh, plus y squared equals 89. Negative 8 squared is 64. And notice that that's, I've been here before. So I'm going to get the same answer as y is negative 5 and 5. So I have two more points. When x is negative 8, y is 5. When x is negative 8, y is negative 5. So these two uh, curves intersect at four different places. So uh, if you have a chance, grab Desmos and graph them both right now and, and look at the shapes. It's kind of interesting.